Hey, boy. You gotta get the fuck out of here real quick, man. What's that? Ah, uh, we got a fun nigga. I ain't playing around, boy. <laughs> Dude. Dude, what the fuck am I doing? Like, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes my brain just, just mind boggles me. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> Welcome back to another video on my channel. Uh, today I'm gonna be watching some Muay Thai. Yes, that's what it was, Muay Thai. It's gonna be about Buakao, uh, all knockouts of the legend. So yeah, this will be fun. I've already watched a uh, Muay Thai video. I think it was the uh, Lordzilla, uh, and that was really interesting. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get straight into it, and uh, I'll see you on the other side when this video fades out. Oh yeah, by the way, one one more thing. Go check out my game, right? Go check that shit out. Let's get into it, boy. Walk out. Jesus. So he's built like that. Ooh. But it was his cruelty and brutality the fucking that elbow, man. His legend in combat sports. His vicious aggression earned him the prestigious K1 Grand Prix title at only 21 years old in 2004. Sheesh. Damn. Even when the odds were stacked against him, and when the Japanese wanted to favor their own fighters, Boakao had no room for a defeat. Oh. Jesus. He's got, he's like 110% just like aggressiveness. Doesn't even let the other guy try and punch. As an underdog born as a farmer in Thailand, Boakao became the Hulk of Muay Thai and kickboxing. <sighs> With his epic knockouts, Boakao earned the love of all fight fans around the world, becoming the greatest ambassador to Muay Thai of all time. Today we will show you all of the brutal and Dude, he's spamming all of the buttons. Every single move he knows. He's spamming and doing a combo with. E. Look at that, right? Oh, oh what a kick. All knockouts. Borkel's huge streak of aggressive knockouts happened when Oy. he started to fight Western fighters. What the f- like- In interviews, he Hang on a minute, look at that! This is gonna be a long ass fucking video if I s keep on pausing, but look! He gets- when he An elbow! Right, or a knee in right in his jaw! That to be a great Muay Thai fighter, and he just takes it. Cruel. And that's exactly what he was throughout Jesus his career. Christ. A predator that was cruel to his prey. Oh, the double his knee! His first prey would be the Australian Timor Dao. 2003. After backing Damn. up Timor against the corner, Boakao jumped up for a flying knee while grabbing the back of Timor's head. After landing flush and hurting Timor, he spun his opponent around Oosh. and finished the fight with a vicious elbow. This was a classic Ooh. knee into elbow chain that few in the world has ever seen outside of Muay Thai. Ah, Jesus! He was blocking as well, but it's still connected. Boakao was only 20 years young. We got a peek into how charismatic Boakao was when he started dancing with a ring girl. But with all of Boakao's <laughs> humor and silliness, when it's time to fight, he fights like a monster. Jesus. Oh my days, the power in those kicks. Boakao versus Takayuki Kohirimaki. In this fight, Boakao faced off against the second best Japanese fighter of this kickboxing era. It was a brutal fight Let me where see Boakao what he did fought to him. Super Saiyan. This fight showcased why fighters should never piss off Boakao. Whoa. After Takayuki used an illegal technique to throw Boakao on the floor one time, Boakao threw Takayuki to the floor in what seemed like 100 times. What? Before the rampage started, Boakao showed Takayuki the meanest face possible. This was because he actually got hurt from the illegal kicking sweep. Damn. But anger is a powerful now he's emotion that can be harnessed for fighting. So Boakao used it beautifully. Oh. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. 
everything Borkow did landed flush. <laughs> After he went on a throwing spree, he went on a low kick spree as oh. his opponent helplessly threw haymakers in the air. Oh. Then came the brutal fucking leg kicks. Iconic. With Takayuki questioning his life choices, Borkow <laughs> has found his opponent's biggest weakness. Damn. He even need Takayuki in the butt at one point. So he just f owned the. And he ended the first round of a full. One of the best Japanese assault. fighters, just like that. Oh. That guy doesn't even look round, hurt. He just Shinji looked hurt in like his, his knee combination. It's mental health. The second best Japanese <laughs> kickboxer did not know how to clinch. Ooh. So to end the fight, Borakau started to go for Takayuki's head with his knees, launching a free knee combination to Takayuki's head after applying the double collar lock. Damn! The fight, Takayuki looked completely defeated. Look at that! As if he said, "Damn!" I Opa, Opa. Like that. After the fight, that Borakau was ticky. still gave the opposing team respect like a true sportsman. But make no mistake about it, it was an absolute humiliation, and Takayuki got destroyed. In the post-fight interview, Takoyuki said that the first knee Borakau threw took his breath away. Oof. From there, he said things did not go so well. In other words, I mean, what are you supposed to do there, though? Admitting, he got absolutely destroyed. Someone's just holding, you know, the back of your head and just. <laughs> Borakau, Katsumori, my pack. In the second round, it's hard to get out of that. I would think. Right knee. This landed like, flush, but the opponent was oh, again. To keep fighting. He loves those knees, don't he? But Borakau continued pressing forward, backing his opponent into the corner and landing another right knee, ending the fight. Look at that knee right in the gut. Right after the fight, I think that's the gut. Just look at how happy this girl was. Borakau versus John Ford, Iyad Adisak. In 2006, after getting the criticism that Borakau doesn't fight champions from Muay Thai, he fought Thai legend John Hoard Giyad Adisak. Although John Hoard was 36 years old, he was still fresh off of a 19 fight win streak. Damn. To start the finish of this fight, Borakau would land a beautiful right hand left hook into low kick that rocked the legendary opponent. Ooh. The right hand is a throwaway punch to load the power left hook to the body and then the Jeez. power low kick is delivered when the stance is disrupted. That will take you right on the John knee. John Ford gets up, but Borakau ruthlessly hunts the body again, finishing the fight with a powerful right hook to the body as the opponent scrambles out of panic. Oh. After this fight, Borakau would that. never fight a Thai ever again. He said that he wanted what? to spread Muay Thai to the world rather than fighting his own people. Oh. Borakau versus Yoshihiro Sato. I thought they meant he fucking In quit Borakau's after that. Fight right. against Sato, Japan's best Muay Thai fighter. He would score a quick knockout with a signature Muay Thai technique. Wait, when Sato what? went for a push kick, Borakau executed a classic double hand push kick catch by hanging onto the bottom of the ankle and Come on, boy! The top of the ah! As Sato Jesus pulls his Christ. Leg back, Borakau can borrow the momentum to charge him for a left hook. When Borakau saw the perfect opportunity, <laughs> he slammed the left hook into the opponent for the perfect knockout. Oh! There was just no getting up from this. My face! <laughs> Borakau Bro, I can feel Dennis that. Sauer. After a very controversial decision against the Dutch legend, Borakau again faced his nemesis in the 2006 K1 Damn, so he lost against this him. This would cement Borakau's legendary status. Revenge arc! In round two, Sauer charged in to throw a hook. Borakau ducked and then came up with his own left Ooh, hook and Sauer looked Look at away. that. Boosh. Right on the chin. Then when they were in a clinch break, as Sauer threw a left hook, Borakau ducked again and went for a big right hook. This rocked Sauer and as the opponent ducked down, Borakau landed three right uppercuts in a row. Boom. Boom. To finish the fight, Borakau framed the hand to blind Sauer and landed a beautiful long rear uppercut. He then framed again and timed the perfect right hand against Sauer's lead leg kick. And then uppercuts though. Oof. Many people said Knocked Muay Thai out. fighters can't punch in kickboxing, but Borakau proved that Muay Thai fighters also have good punching skills. After the fight, Sheesh. he was overwhelmed with emotions, becoming the youngest champion to win the prestigious K1 World Grand Prix tournament twice. But Borakau Yo, what? You can have a... a what the fuck are those trousers? Kick. While that didn't land, 
You can see the panic on his Some different already, grip. As Hiroki charged him one more time. Oh! The perfect check left hook that dropped his opponent immediately. The opponent also landed his own left hook. Shat on! Cal's left hook was just way stronger <laughs> and with much better technique. Ah! With this one punch knockout. Bro, that other guy looked like a kid. Like he just badass. left talked him. Borakau versus Jun Kier. He looked like a fucking kid running at him. <laughs> BAH! Borakau began the fight with a knockout. Knockout. Then when they clinched, Borakau pushed off into a perfect high kick. He pushed with his right hand to frame, and when the opponent stepped back, Ooh. his downward Ooh. high kick landed perfectly, resulting in a oh. knockdown. That was nice. To end the round, Boakau landed another high kick and got his opponent backed up against the corner, which allowed him to throw a right hook that downed his opponent again. To his opponent's credit, he Damn. kept getting up and fighting. Finish this fight, He's so snappy with his like, right hooks. Hand. Borakau pulled back to dodge the punch. Good. Oh, look at that! Oh. Right hand as he <sighs> this is look a textbook that, example of a right hand versus how not to a right hand. Borakau versus it looks Black too Mamba. easy. It's too easy for when him. Borakau fought Black Mamba, He's like, is that it? Well like, moving around on the outside and throwing power strikes what there. A piss take. He's <laughs> so like, is this who I'm fighting? Is this the top, the that top fighters? Didn't even flinch. Mamba was doing excellent offensively and getting the better of the exchanges. That was until he decided it would be a good idea to push kick Borakau, which oh, enabled shit. him to use his signature catch into left hook again. Lesson oh. learned. Don't try to push kick a legendary Muay Thai fighter. Why does he keep on doing it? <laughs> when Mamba got All right, up, that guy, man. He was not if he does it, the same fighter. So ah, Borakau stop it. walked him down and eventually landed two flush right hands when Mamba Jesus tried to knee Christ. Borakau in the clinch. Don't do another push Why thing. Why in the world push would kick. an opponent try to out Muay Thai a legendary Muay Thai fighter? No one knows, but he learned his lesson. In the fight against Kobe Imada, an MMA fighter who transitioned into shoe boxing, we basically got to see what Borakau could be like in MMA. Hmm. Imada had just beaten Andy Sawa in a shoe boxing match, which allows takedowns. Okay. Borakau was thrown to the ground via a judo throw early in the match, but he would defend a double leg attempt with a nice underhook. Then he transitioned into the clinch nice. and landed a beautiful right knee. In an exchange, Jesus. Imada would attempt to judo throw again. So he's like he's good at like everything. He can defense ta he, he he has good defense against takedowns. Down in the clinch. Imada good punch and throwing skills. Down, but each got good combos. Good kicks. Forward. Eventually, Damn, he bro. Fall down from the damage. Oh, look at that move. Ooh. Those kicks make me just two to swarm Borakau, and it was a good strategy. But Borakau kept finding a mark for the low kick until Imada could no longer stand up. Considering how Imada is an elite MMA fighter in Bellator, we got to see how Borakau would do as an MMA fighter. The answer we got was that he would likely do very well. He would destroy him. Yeah. He just goes for that leg. Dude, the knee shot. Against Tomoki, Borakau got into the clinch, hung on the single collarbone as he controlled the opponent's lead arm. He trapped it and held the head in place to chuck an elbow. Look at the swings, the forces. He followed up with a short lead elbow after pushing the opponent's face. When the opponent got up and rushed in for his own elbows, though, Borakau threw a check hook and landed flush. Oh! When they landed in the clinch again, those check hooks he does. used a single collar and finished the fight with an overhand elbow followed by a left hook once oh. again. Bro. This fight showed how Borakau was ruthless once he sees a weakness. He would repeatedly oh, go after it once days, he man. It. This guy's Borakau nuts. Versus Pisitello. Against Pisitello, Borakau got into a good brawl. But eventually the momentum shifted when they got into the clinch and Borakau picked up the opponent and chucked him on the ground. When they clinched up again, Borakau blocked his opponent's attempt to hold his neck with his elbow and then shoved the elbow in for a beautiful knockdown. Ooh. Then when Mikhail went for a rear push kick, he's got Boakau good ass fucking clinch work. For a left body hook. He as knows what to do in a clinch. Forward, he used the pendulum into trapping the opponent's lead arm <sighs> and then into another overhand elbow. Boom. There was just no getting up from that. Fucking hell, man. Boakau he likes the elbows. Zaddy Poff Rustum. Against Zaddy Poff Rustum, Borakau again got into a nice brawl with his opponent. However, Elbow as the again. fight went on, 
Borkow was simply the better and more conditioned man. No longer was Zalipov smiling whenever Borkow landed shots. In round two, Borkow pressed forward. I don't think you should ever be fucking smiling if you're fine against. Uppercut that levered into a huge I mean. left hook. Oh my, I mean, I mean, someone who can do that, bro. Borkow pressed his opponent against the corner and landed a huge overhand. Oh! And the opponent didn't go down after getting rocked. Dude, the power Borkow he's got as well. The opponent's arm with an overhand Jesus Christ! The shots, he went on a punching rampage. That guy should just retire at this point. And ended the fight with a right hook. Look at the combos, man. Oh! Borkow versus Abdul Torre. Against Abdul, Borkow had just come off of a gym contract dispute. He hadn't been paid for all of his fighting efforts throughout his last decade. Abdul thought Damn. this fight was an exhibition, and he didn't know that nut teeps are legal in Muay Thai. So Borkow continued to push kick him to the nuts as he complained. What? After pressing it's illegal? The entire fight, as Abdul rushed in for an elbow, Borkow landed a beautiful roundhouse knee. This technique is a roundhouse that lands as the knee when the opponent rushes in. Strike. Borkow looked back at his opponent and knew that he was not getting that must have fucking strike. hurt. That's like a that's like Borkow versus Maru Serra. <sighs> Something Serra, in his body Borkow just exploded. Went on a combination spree against his opponent. All Serra was doing was receiving the combinations. Left hooks landed over and oh, over again until Borkow just grabs his leg. <laughs> elbow again. The opponent and he got moved. And pretended it didn't hurt. But poker face wouldn't help him against Borkow. Borkow push kicked his Mate, you can't be laughing if you're getting no knocked out, mate. Borkow used his signal and took again to land another knockdown. His opponent smiled and got up. Jesus Christ! Ain't no fucking way, bro. Bro. Borkow versus David Calvo. Fucking hell. Borkow's fight with Calvo was one of the most epic knockouts he's had. The opponent again thought it'd be a good idea to go for a push kick. Borkow grabbed the push kick to leave it into a body. Oh! He continued the combination. Oh, look how aggressive he is. Left body hook once again. The opponent got up and put up it's a like if fight, you do a single mistake, he's going to take win. advantage from that. And like, if you if you fuck up one punch, he's going to get an extra 20 punches As on Borkow you. Because he just keeps Calvo on going. Went for a very ill-advised jumping knee. Borkow oh, was not. never in any threat. <sighs> Wanna be against Calvo this landed, guy, bro. He was met with a powerful lunge oh. electric from the body that sent him flying. Look at that Borkow lift. Borkow celebrated explosively with a well-deserved knockout Jeez. victory. In 2014, Abdul Torre mm. decided to rematch Borkow for the WBC title. Borkow once again push kicked him to the nuts. <laughs> once again. <laughs> he's gonna have a he's gonna remember him like oh fuck it's this guy. So keeps on pushing me. As the opponent oh, moved his head to the right, Borkow did a super quick switch kick to Abdul's head. Oh. So Borkow did a spinning kick followed by a bunch of jumping attacks. To land his first knockdown, Borkow threw a flying knee off of a clinch. That. When the knee didn't land. He used it to grab a single collar. He's out cold. His opponent spin to throw an overhand elbow. The fight was finished by the same technique as Abdul rushed into the clinch with a combination. These knockouts show that Borkow is extremely consistent oh! identifying a weakness and finishing an opponent with them. Damn. Borkow versus Gu Hui. She's nasty. When Borkow started to fight in China, he took on their oh. best fighters and became a superstar. Oh, in his fight against Hui, he trapped his like he can read clinch, people, he's got insane power. The no the wonder he's the fucking king of Muay Thai. He's got like everything on lock. And getting an underhook, Borkow ensured he had the perfect position to throw as many knees as he wanted. Oh, Borkow fuck! Wang Wei Hao. The Hao, knees are killing the Chinese me. champion spinning back kick Borkow to the groin. Borkow told him to kick higher. Then when Hao came in for a hook. Borkow countered the hook with a perfect overhand. <laughs> he went into the roof. The next knockdown, Borkow pressed forward to land a lunging left hook that levered into a high kick. The high kick Ooh. landed as the opponent missed the right hand. Dude, the combos he no makes. Like, even worse, how leaned into the high kick. And Borkow even landed a Imagine getting a right calf right in your fucking eye. When Hal got up, 
Boa Cow chased him down with Jesus. a knee. Cow ran away, which allowed Boa Cow to land another right high kick. Oh. This time, Cow gave up. Oof. Yeah. Boa Cow versus Maron Tutu. Against Tutu, Maron Tutu. Boa Cow landed two switch kicks in a row as the opponent tried to move forward. Then on the third charge, Boa Cow timed the perfect check left hook again. It didn't matter that the opponent oh, oh my God. landed above the guard. Then as the opponent touched the ground, Borkow sucker kicked him in the head. When Tutu got up, Borkow looked annoyed and hunted to finish. With typical Hulk smash style, he just looks Borkow like he's it, it, like the floor <coughs> he's not against like people he up, on his he lead. In for a power left hook. If you look at him, he's like, no guard, jumped in just stay down, bro. <laughs> there was How many no times do I have to knock you out? That's what his face says. So just Iron. stay down, man. Against Ayman, Borkow again lunged in for a jumping left like, hook. There wasn't I mean, a if you get knocked down here, like that, it doesn't matter. stay Borkow down, bro. Sorry, hook. right, but... They go down. The opponent also tried to throw his own left hook. Good luck. Borkow landed his lunging left hook while the opponent's hook completely mm. missed the mark. This is the first time we've seen a shifting rear left hook punch. Damn. Is he inventing new uh, Gimby. punches? Against Gimby, Borkow threw a right hook to the body. Then he pushed Gimby out into the long range and Ooh. used his right hand to create a blind spot on his opponent's right side. <laughs> then he threw a power high kick where the Jesus. opponent and landed a picture perfect high kick as the opponent thought it was a middle kick. Oh, fucking to hell. To win the fight, Borkow pushed his opponent to the ropes and landed a spree of right cross left hook combination. Wait, is this this round is a that's a long ass round though? Borkow celebrated like a king. Was it one round that's like ten minutes? Is. Shit. Right. Let me tell you, I would not wanna fuck with that guy. Did you see that fucking what was it? Was it uh, an elbow, I think it was. Right onto his chin and he just took it. I mean if he can take that, do like fifteen punches in like three seconds he's got good defense when it comes to takedowns and he knows how to work a clinch like <laughs> i need to watch some more of him man that was that was nuts i mean i watched the other one with uh, lordzilla and that was just about uh defense and shit but that guy i would call him probably like the power of Matai. see what i mean but those knockouts I would say are as entertaining as like, you know, UFC knockouts or you know, whatever. Like the snappy kicks and like, the knees. Oh. oh. This has been a pretty, pretty long video. So I'm not going to waste your time anymore. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed this, this type of content or this video. Yeah, comment down below something that I can watch. Yeah, I'll see you in the in the next one.